In this video, we're gonna cover what causes the arms to fall forward or come down during the overhead squat. Whenever you see the arms falling forward, this is going to be a shoulder internal rotation issue. And we'll get Sarah to come here for one second. Now you might be thinking, why the heck is this a shoulder internal rotation? Well, the reality is any muscle, so if we go into AB, abduction, any muscle that does this, or if we are in 180 degrees of flexion, any muscle that pulls this into extension will be the exact same muscles that internally rotate the shoulder. So if we find out the internal rotators, we will find out which issues are causing the arms to fall forward or the arms to come back like this during an overhead squat. Now let's do a side profile again. So what we're looking for here, and we'll exaggerate this a little bit, Sarah. So as the client goes down to a squat, this part of the arm should always be hiding the ears. If you notice when the client comes down into their squat position, go ahead and squat. If those arms start to fall forward and we can see the ears even just a little bit, this would constitute a check mark on this assessment. We have to make sure, even if they have a lean this way, the arms have to stay back in this position. If they don't, thank you, sir. If they don't, we categorize this as a shoulder internal rotation issue. Now the muscles necessary for internal rotation. So step number one, if we know what the movement is, in this case, internal rotation, let's list the muscles that are responsible for shoulder ro uh, internal rotation. That's gonna be our pec major, our lats, our teres major, subscap, and our anterior delts. So people having that issue with the arms falling forward, this will be tightened, overactive, meaning that we need to release these muscles. On the opposite, what are the antagonists of these muscles now? We have our external rotators, our infraspinatus, our teres minor, and our posterior delts. Now there's a bit of an asterisk on the posterior delts, and this is very rare, but it does happen. These are usually tightened and overactive. These are lengthened and underactive. The posterior delt though, usually when you have a lot of shoulder in internal rotation, is actually gonna be lengthened and overactive. So in this situation, these here, we want to activate these muscles. The posterior delt, we want to release them, not activate. 